Very often in life we come across situations when we're on holiday or visiting different places where we see wonderful scenes in front of us from all angles that we think would make interesting paintings. The problem very often is that there are far too many viewpoints or different issues going on with hustle and bustle and little scenes happening in front of us that make it very confusing. For an example here I've got um, many images of the Grand Canal in Venice and other canalways and bridges, uh, buildings, gondolas, hustle and bustle of people moving around. It's a very vibrant and energetic place and can actually be quite overwhelming. Once you've decided on a subject, you must plan the composition. Making studies to help your thoughts and emotions urging you to make a painting, it's necessary then to determine a layout. This is your chance to fully consider and reconsider your approach to the painting. This will make things clearer for you and help you decide what design to show the subject matter or scene to its best advantage. So in this first study you can see that I've um, got the canal with the buildings and also in equal measure the gondolas. They're about on the same scale. Uh, there's a little bit of movement in um, the design element of the size of the gondolas and obviously in a picture like this it's, it's nice to group things unevenly. You never want two of anything, you always want three or five. Um, this is counterbalanced by the gondola that's just coming out of view on one side and also the, the poles that they're tied to. The buildings also vary in size and therefore there's a natural movement away from us and down the canal. In this second study you can see that I've brought up the size uh, of the gondola that's in the foreground with the second one supporting it. Um, now here we have a very horizontal and upright structure. The upright um, design of the buildings gives a structure and a stability to the painting whilst the horizontals give a calmness. So there's a stillness here and you can see that everything is slightly frozen but it does give a little bit of structure to the buildings and a majestic element to them. In this third composition I have a close-up of the gondola. This makes it possible to show some of the boat's intricate details and make the gondola an integral part of the painting. Um, this is a more powerful image as it utilises the majestic beauty of the gondola, while the paddle halts the viewer's focus, drawing attention towards the buildings in the canal. Um, visual interest can be added to a painting through the use of gradation, which is why the gondola actually goes from being quite dark and, and black through to a lighter colour at the back. Um, any progression from light to, to dark will cause the eye to follow it, while the gradation of size and direction produces linear perspective. It's a simple and effective way to draw the viewer's attention to a specific point in the picture, um, and then if you break that, it halts the movement at that point. So I have the oar coming forward the paddle coming forwards towards us, it breaks that point um, and it gives a little tension to the painting. So there you have three alternate views to painting um, the Grand Canal in Venice. Which one would you choose to do? It's entirely up to you but of course all three could be worked up into finished paintings. Mm -hmm.